Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect 2 here on the Game Professor channel. I'm your host, the Game Professor, and today we are doing Jacob's Loyalty Mission, and I am going to use Miranda as my other crew member because she is one of my go-tos in this game. That she, The mix of the biotics and tech for her is just a really good mix no other way to get around it just really good and for mr jacob here i really don't care about his pull ability i also don't really care about his special ability um i am going to do specialist because i want him to have more weapon damage and we will give him his incendiary amni incendiary ammo this would have the, been the one reason the one reason um I will give him inferno ammo though so there we go nice and simple we should be able to get through this entire mission in one episode that's my plan it's another one of the ones that's pretty darn quick. Nothing too crazy and time consuming. And just to remind everybody. I detect no life signs, but there may be useful technology or information still inside. Basically, Jacob's father is. Uh apparently uh alive still when jacob thought he wasn't it has there we go that's what i get for having to scratch my ear my goodness well there's a beacon Let's check out the beacon. Repeat, toxology alert. Danger of rapid neural decay. Local flora chemically incompatible with human physiology. Override. Hmm. Beacon resumed. Pause time, 8 years, 237 days, 7 hours. Well. From the look of it, this beacon's been here a while. Why would they wait years to signal? Pause in beacon protocol. 8 years, 237 days, 7 hours. Pause is recorded as... Record deleted. By Acting Captain Ronald Taylor. That's hmm. not right. My father was first officer. Ronald Taylor was promoted under emergency command protocols. Other flag hmm. issues. Unsafe deceleration. Local food and neural decay. Beacon activation protocols. Okay. What are the emergency command protocols? Who is in command of this ship? Where are the survivors? Captain Harris Fairchild reported killed following unscheduled suborbital descent. First hmm. Officer Ronald Taylor promoted infield to acting captain. But where is he now? The location of the remaining crew of the Hugo Gernsback is unknown. This beacon has been unattended for several maintenance cycles. Okay. I assume unsafe deceleration refers to the crash. Give me the details. Following an unspecified impact and sublight drive failure, the Hugo Gernsback made an unscheduled descent at 465% of theoretical recommended suborbital velocity. The well. Hugo Gernsback then decelerated at 782% of theoretical recommended approach velocity, sustaining significant damage to investment and crew. Okay, tell me about the food. Local food impairs brain functions? What are the effects? Impairment of mental function due to chemical imbalance begins within seven days of ingesting local flora regardless of decontamination or preparation. Impact mm. on higher cognitive abilities and long-term memory is cumulative, but significant within a standard month. It is not wow. known if neural decay is permanent. Data collection was not completed. Okay. Why wasn't the beacon activated before now? This emergency beacon became functional after 358 days, 12 hours, following the unscheduled suborbital descent of the Hugo Gernsback. Activation was triggered huh. remotely after 8 years, 237 days, 7 hours, on the authority of Acting Captain Ronald Taylor. Pause in Beacon Protocol is recorded as... Record deleted. Well... 
Come on, let's get going. Let's check the ship. My father had the beacon for almost nine years. Maybe that neural decay affected him. Avoiding it for a decade seems... Very true. Along with us anymore, we've done horrible things to the crew. The conditions they're in, they don't understand what we're doing to them. Distract them for two seconds and they forget what, what, what you did before the bruises show. Mm. It's got to stop. I'm talking to the others as soon as it Well, that doesn't sound good. Let's see if we can figure out anything. I I forgot how blatant some of these logs were, so I apologize that I didn't directly give a content warning before starting the episode. Um, I will change that in post. This is... I definitely did... Ugh. Stuff like that just makes my skin crawl. Okay. Sounds like he's not the best commanding officer. What? What was her name? Sarah? S Suzanne? My God, I can't remember. I can't remember her face. We need to mm. get out. So I can remember. C can think straight. They have to hurry. Hmm. Very, uh... dark to say the least all in different ways obviously the one that the content warning relates to is that one man's talking points so we have a person you came okay from the sky the leader said someone would come he delayed for so long but he still has power some have lost faith. The hunters, hmm. they will have seen your star. They will not let you help him. Calm down. What are you talking about? You're not making sense. Uh, I, I don't remember how to say it. He's our leader and we serve so we can go home. But some want to fight him. They were, they were cast out. He exiled them. So they hunt mm. his machines and those who help him. They don't believe that rescue will come. Watch out! Hunters, they won't stop until the leader is dead. Kill them! Agents of the liar! He will not escape! Oh boy. Oh. Well, alright. Ah. Uh. 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 Here we go. Shield. There we go. Down you go. Oh, come on. What happened to my slowdown? Oh, wow. I feel like my slowdown isn't happening right now in my sniper scope. And it's very irritating. There we go. Feral Hunter. 
You're done. There we go. I'm not gonna waste that on him. Impressive. There we go. There we go. I've got him. There we go. That wasn't neural decay. They were feral. My father would yeah. something is very wrong. That's what you think. You killed them, but there are more every day. They want to fight, but I just want to go home. We need to find someone who can make sense of this. Yeah. I agree, Jacob, but I unfortunately think that what you know of your father is no longer accurate. Alright. <sighs> Again, with the very low amounts of drops of ammo. Hmm. Is that a settlement? They better be friendlier than the beach group. I need answers. I know you do. We'll figure it out. Hmm. They're clearly docile, but in the same uniform remnants as those who attacked us. They're all female, though. There aren't any men here. Maybe it affects genders differently? It makes males get violent. Possibly. But the woman on the beach said the exiled ones came back as hunters. It doesn't hmm. matter right now. One of these people must know what my father has to do with this. You have his face. He promised to call the sky, but he sends nothing. He forced us to eat. To... decay. You are cursed with his face. That is not a good sign. Not the best reaction to the family resemblance, Jacob. Why would my father force his crew to eat toxic food? Whatever's happening here needs to stop. Way to give uh, to state the obvious. These spoiled food stores. They've been eating only that toxic local food for who knows how long. Like that wasn't obvious enough. Mm hmm He has a cruel face. His cruel face. Go away. You are like him. You will keep us here. No, we won't. I can't talk to you. I don't want punishing. Punishing? Oh boy. Somebody had to push them to make that. That's borderline worship. Yep. That's pretty screwed up. He keeps us, protects us, and we please him like he demands. Mm. Oh man. Yep, another screen crawl moment. The hunters will kill you. They fight because he exiled them and waited too long. He is bad. He has a bad face like the other. Like him. You'll hurt me. Oh boy. Oh boy. I definitely just heard some max. Yep. There we go. Oh boy. Get me a spot where I can get some cover. Alright. Well. Backup systems in the power. I've never noticed that tech before. Or that discussion. Maybe it was just for defense. Huh. Your captain demands obedience. I've never noticed that. That is disturbing and fascinating you have his face but you fight his machines you might stop this 
this, I forget how to read, but this was the start. What he promised, and what they did to us. We need the sky. Mm. Take us back to the sky. What is Take it? Him. What does it say? It's a crew logbook. Some of them thought the beacon repair was taking too long. Hmm. They were afraid they'd run out of supplies and lose their minds to the decay. My father restricted the ship food for himself and the other officers so they wouldn't be affected. Everybody else had to eat the toxic food and hope for treatment later. The rest is a casualty list. Hmm. A few mutinied over the decision. My father and his officers turned the mechs on them. Sounds like he cracked. He wasn't command material and it got to him. Couldn't keep the crew in line without violence. It didn't stop there. More incidents, harsh punishments. It's like they're cattle or toys. In a year, mm. all the male crew members are flagged as exiled or dead. They separated out the women, assigned them to the officers appear in the casualties too. After, my father took control and didn't stop it. I am so sick of my of my HDMI switcher doing that. Oh my god. Always while I'm recording. Anything in there about whether the effects of the toxic food can be treated? Nothing. But it seems like the right call. Hmm. If everyone gets it, who's left to fix the beacon? You'd never get out. Mm -hmm. They did fix True. It. The signal wasn't sent until now. I'm starting to see why. Yep. <laughs> Does it say why he separated the men and women? Or is it as bad as it seems? No, it turns to gibberish. Maybe the men got violent early on, but from the state of this place, I'd say the hunter thing is recent. What he mm -hmm. allowed here, Shepard? I don't see any justification. Yeah. We haven't seen any other officers. He killed them? There were five after the crash. Medical, engineering, bridge staff. Should have had no problem fixing the beacon and keeping people safe. All mm -hmm. killed within the same week, about a month after the beacon was repaired. Mm. Does this make any sense to you? Do you see an explanation for this? He's your father. Is he? None of this fits. Maybe the initial decision, but the rest? Abuse of power doesn't get any clearer than this. I need to mm -hmm. find this man. All right. Let's do this. All right, going to make a mech explode from the look of it. Nice and simple. I love it when it's nice and simple. And we just have to get far enough away. Oh, come on. Sweet. Huh. Just got free. He's covering his ass. And you may recognize his voice um, from another game we've played on the channel. Like a warning. The new ones were left where they fell. The hunters started fighting back. Engaging target. All right. <clears throat> all right. It's all just a matter of. Impact impact event. On target. All right. Excuse me. Warning, hostile forces are incoming. Enemy requesting assistance. Oh my goodness. System failing. Rerouting power. Backup systems engaged. There we go. Alrighty. Got my shields back up. Come on. There we go. All right, get ourselves more ammo, please. Please, ammo. 
Really? This is the only bit? Oh boy. Spare parts. Oh, come on. Jacob, I guess I'll get you back up. We're getting there. At least I think we are. I don't think that I need to keep moving forward to stop the spawning. I'm fairly certain. There we go. Yeah, that is what it seems like. I think we just have one larger fight ahead, meaning one that'll include an Atlas mech. Taking fire. He goes. That's not what I wanted. Okay. There we go. There we go. God dang it. Critical system damage. Requesting assistance. Our forces have engaged. Go. Rerouting power. Requesting assistance. Go. Got this guy. Yeah, this is pretty screwed up, to say the least. All right, oh boy. It's not gonna give me a way to shoot. There. Really? I don't want to have to go farther out. Incoming strength for him. We serve. Ah, oh, come on. How about you let me go there, Jacob? <sighs> really? Jacob, you are so bad at this. All right. <laughs> All right. They hide like exiles. Fine. Oh boy. <laughs> am I stupid? <laughs> am I stupid to do this? Yes, I probably am, but I'm going to. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> You're kidding me. Like, that's just irritating. I am gonna use the cane though. Um, I am going to use the cane. It's probably stupid. I'm probably going to kill everybody, but I don't care. <laughs> That's kind of where I'm at. <laughs> I'm just going to see if I can use the cane. That's... 
where I'm at with that. I'd rather rather see if it'll work. Because you never know. You never know. Wow, really? It wouldn't go off. Maybe it's not going to let me. Maybe because I, I will kill everybody. It might not let me because I'll kill everybody. I'll give it one more shot. I really am just curious. I never use the cane. <laughs> there, are, uh, There's a handful of missions that I will use the cane on for sure. And I'm just curious to see if it'll work for this. All right, let's give this one more shot. Yeah, I'm gonna try that one more time. See if I, I don't know if that was the cane doing that or if that was me getting shot. It probably was the cane. In fact, I'm almost certain it was the cane, but I still want to find out. <laughs> I'm terrible. I'm terrible. Wow, that didn't do it? I'm amazed that that wasn't enough to take down the mech. Now let's finish Color me fight. shocked. Color me shocked. I am truly amazed that that wasn't... You're kidding me, really? I'm in cover. I am li I'm in cover right now. The blast zone. There we go. Boys, I need to look my father in the eye and hear him justify this. Well, I think that the cane at least killed all of the all of the human enemies. That's the only explanation I have. Interesting. That worked better than I thought it would. <laughs> uh, we have a PDA. Where's the PDA? There's the PDA. Where is the refined ESO? There you are. Not that we need it, but 2400 credits. Lovely. All right, Taylor. You're here. I knew a real squad would blow through just fine. Sorry if the mech scuffed your pants. Can you recognize I'll get you the voice now? Nice when we get back to Alliance Space, I've got to have some back pay coming. Mm. What about your crew, acting captain? Total loss. The toxic food turned them wild. They propped me up here in some kind of ritual behavior, waiting for a chance to signal it's been hell. That's the best you can do. You let all your people talk back like that? <laughs> Who are you exactly? I'm Shepard. I think you know Jacob. Commander Shepard of the Normandy. I believe you are acquainted with Mr. Taylor. Taylor? Jacob? No. Not Jacob. Why not me? Would ten years of this look better to anyone else in the galaxy? 
You have to understand. Mm -hmm. This isn't me. The realities of command, they change you. I wasn't ready for that. I made sure you were taught right. Before I left, I hoped to leave it at that. Touching, but I don't buy it. Fighting, Captain. At some point, you chose to do this to your crew. You. Mm-hmm. What was that moment? I want to know that there was an actual reason. There was resistance to the plan. Mutiny. We had to take a hard line to keep order. And things settled down. As the decay set in, we made sure the crew were comfortable. Some even seemed happier. Ignorance is bliss, right? And they were grateful for guidance. Like an instinct. Pure authority was... easy. At first. Months in, <laughs> the effect lowered inhibitions. They got territorial. Rank, protocol, they couldn't understand. We had to establish dominance. After a while, the perks seemed normal. That's it? You created a harem and played king? Ten <laughs> years in a juvenile fantasy? I can't point to where it all went wrong. But when the beacon was ready, revealing what happened didn't seem like a good idea. Mm, you at least... <laughs> it's Yeah, it's bad, but... It still would happen eventually. The stores from the ship couldn't last forever. You had to know this would end one day. Dining for one can really stretch things out. Besides, I can think of a lot worse retirement plans than stripping down and joining the droolers. That was before the hunters, of course. Dumb or not, I'd feel it if they got their hands on me now. They want blood. I'd prefer to keep it. <laughs> it's all about you. Everything. What happened to the other officers? Anders found his conscience a little late to step back. He had an accident. Things got tense. End of the day, I was the one with the mechs. I got a wow. little basic in setting examples. But I was kind to my people once things settled down. Seemed like I'd earned some peace. You fought over people like they were toys. Things. What triggered the males to change and threaten you? This planet has some strange cycles to it. I've seen some plants around I never saw before. Odd weather. Maybe some just adapted a little too well. And if you treat them like animals, uh -huh. big shock. They become animals. You didn't feel any responsibility to get out of here for the sake of family? I gave him a good start. He was a smart kid and was better off not following me. We figured that out a long time before I took jobs in deep space. Huh. And after things escalated here, it seemed best to just disappear off the galactic map. Till you needed someone to save your ass. You'll answer for this. There's no way I'm letting this slide, Taylor. The price will be paid. How much? What kind of math can balance these lives? His life isn't worth pulling the damn trigger. I don't know who you are. Because you're not any father I remember. He can't escape the law now. We'll secure him for an alliance court. For every year here, he'll have ten to think about it. Give him all the time in the galaxy. The man who did this doesn't know right from wrong. I'm sorry, Jacob. I did the best I could. I'm ten <laughs> years past believing that. All right, survivors from AO were treated by Alliance personnel with additional Cerberus support. Pleased to see Taylor unharmed physiologically by experience. Jacob Taylor has dealt with his father and is now focused solely on the mission. Energy barrier, new outfit for Jacob, heavy pistol damage, 28,500 credits. Doing this mission now is going to be a little weird at this point because we effectively quit Cerberus. <laughs> already so this will be a little weird but it's fine we'll just have a little cutscene to finish off and then I think I'll also see you again if I can regain. Alliance ships are inbound to secure Captain Taylor and his crew, Commander. We'll be long gone by the time they get here. 
Good. Don't even give them the tail lights. Roger that. What do you mean it wasn't you? Jacob, if I had leaked the information about the Gernsback, I would be smiling at your resolution of the situation. I am not smiling. But you knew about it. Nothing goes through this ship, my ship, without a report to you. I had no more reason to believe Jacob's father was alive than he did. But I'm happy to know the situation is behind you. Fine. You didn't forward it. So who did? I did. Hmm. Huh. Figures. Who else could get into Cerberus channels? It was hardly classified, just obscure. There was a time when it mattered to you. Sending this along seemed like keeping an old promise. I keep my promises. Hmm. Miranda, we'll discuss your liberal interpretation of security protocol in private. Shepard, Jacob. The main reason I like the conclusion of this mission is we see a bit more of Miranda and Jacob's relationship, whatever it is. You had no idea Miranda was behind this. No, she's got a good memory. Selective, but good. I haven't thought about those days in a long time. Hmm. Can't figure which promise she meant, though. Not sure I really want to know. She requires a better man than I. Okay. You good with this, Jacob? It's all bull, Shepard. Captain Taylor can rot in prison. Doesn't change who I am or what I know. I've already mourned the man he used to be. I guess okay. he's a good enough father that even he can't screw up what he taught me. All right. Come on, we got work to do. I, Commander. Shepard. Thanks for the help. Anytime, Jacob. All right. So, more Paragon. So let's very quickly check with Miranda. See if we can get her, uh, her loyalty back. Really? Come on, game. Don't do that kind of stuff to me. Then... That'll's where we'll end the episode. We'll and then after that, we'll be starting arrival. And I'll get more into why I the after the suicide mission is my preferred placement for arrival at that point. Please Miranda, I just want your loyalty again. I just want your loyalty again. I have work to do, Commander. Please. Go chat with your friend Jack if you want small talk. Ah, come on. <laughs> Miranda, I'd like to talk about this. I'd rather we didn't. Ah, uh, so annoying. All right. Well, I will see you all back at the galaxy map the next time, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you always know when I have new videos coming out. And follow the links in the description to the Facebook page and Discord server so you can join the conversation. But until next time, everybody, this is your Game Professor signing off. I'll see you then.